In question 5, they have given a table where there are weights in newtons for some children and the number of children as frequency. Then they have asked us to assume that the mean is 74.5 and using this, we have to find the mean weight of the children correct to two decimal places. So since they have given assumed mean, our table will change. So let me uh, rephrase this table and uh, explain that to you. So I have prepared this table now with uh, class intervals uh, closed. This is 49, this is 50. So I close the gap by uh, dividing the gap into half, so 0.5. 50 minus 49 is 1, and 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. So I give 0 0.5 to the upper limit, and 0 0.5 deducted from the lower limit. So this becomes our new class, OK? And then I found the midpoint of the two by adding the two and dividing by two. So if I add 39.5 and 49.5 divided by two, it will be 89 divided by two, which is 44.5. And that's how we find midpoint. I call it X. Okay, so it is there for all the classes we have done. Okay, now next step should be that we should subtract 74.5 from each one. The assumed mean is 74.5, so we will remove, remove that one. The purpose is that these big numbers become simpler and smaller. That's why we subtract the assumed mean. So 44.5 uh, minus 74.5 is straightforward, it is 30 lesser, so it will be minus 30. Then we'll have minus 20 here, minus 10, 0, positive 10, positive 20, and then positive 30, okay? Then in next column, I have written the a frequency for each one as it was given. Now, the, if we want to find the mean, let's say x bar, we, we uh, add all the differences with x minus. In this case, it is 74.5. Let's say this is 74.5 is assumed to be a. So x minus a multiplied by the frequency, divided by sigma frequency. And then because we subtracted 74.5 from each one, we add that same number once because mean is average, right? So we will add a once, even though we subtract from each one. So this will take care of the, what we reduced. We add it back and we get our mean. This is the formula. So for that, we need sigma x minus a f. That means x minus uh, 74.5 multiplied by the frequency we have. So let's write it here. Uh, x minus 74.5 multiplied by frequency. So 12 times minus 30 is minus 360. 15 times minus 20 is minus 300. This will be minus 150 and so on. It came out to be minus 340. All right. So let's use it here now. Sigma x minus a times f is this sigma x minus 74.5 times f is minus 340 so minus 340 divided by sigma f how many children are there 110 children they have already given us so basically so if i add all of them sigma f will be 110 given by this I'm not adding because they have already given it. So plus 74.5. Please cancel and let's see what answer it gives us. And I got 71.4 kg as the mean.